You are the children of the Lord your God. You shall not cut yourselves, nor make any baldness between your eyes for the dead. For you are an holy people unto the Lord your God. And the Lord has chosen you to be a peculiar people unto himself, above all the nations that are upon the earth. You shall not eat any abominable thing. These are the beasts which you shall eat, the ox, the sheep, and the goat the hart and the roebuck and the fallow deer and the wild goat and the pygarg and the wild ox and the chamoy and every beast that parts the hoof and cleaves the cleft into two claws and chews the cud among the beasts that you shall eat nevertheless these you shall not eat of them that chew the cud or of them that divide the cloven hoof as the camel and the hare and the coney for they chew the cud but divide not the hoof Therefore, they are unclean unto you. And the swine, because it divides the hoof, yet chews not the cud, it is unclean unto you. You shall not eat of their flesh, nor touch their dead carcass. These you shall eat of all that are in the waters. All that have fins and scales shall you eat. And whatsoever has not fins and scales you may not eat. It is unclean unto you. Of all clean birds you shall eat. But these are they of which you shall not eat, the eagle, and the ossifrage, and the osprey, and the gleed, and the kite, and the vulture after his kind, and every raven after his kind, and the owl, and the night hawk, and the cuckow, and the hawk after his kind, the little owl, and the great owl, and the swan, and the pelican, and the gear eagle, and the cormorant, and the stork, and the heron after her kind, and the lapwing, and the bat. And every creeping thing that flies is unclean unto you. They shall not be eaten. But of all clean fowls you may eat. You shall not eat of anything that dies of itself. You shall give it unto the stranger that is in your gates, that he may eat it. Or you may sell it unto an alien. For you are an holy people unto the Lord your God. You shall not seethe a kid in his mother's milk. You shall truly tithe all the increase of your seed that the field brings forth year by year. And you shall eat before the Lord your God in the place which he shall choose to place his name there, the tithe of your corn, of your wine, and of your oil, and the firstlings of your herds and of your flocks, that you may learn to fear the Lord your God always. And if the way be too long for you, so that you are not able to carry it, or if the place be too far from you, which the Lord your God shall choose to set his name there, when the Lord your God has blessed you, Then shall you turn it into money, and bind up the money in your hand, and shall go unto the place which the Lord your God shall choose. And you shall bestow that money for whatsoever your soul lusts after, for oxen, or for sheep, or for wine, or for strong drink, or for whatsoever your soul desires. And you shall eat there before the Lord your God, and you shall rejoice, you and your household. And the Levite that is within your gates, you shall not forsake him, for he has no part nor inheritance with you. At the end of three years you shall bring forth all the tithe of your increase the same year, and shall lay it up within your gates. And the Levite, because he has no part nor inheritance with you, and the stranger and the fatherless and the widow, which are within your gates, shall come, and shall eat and be satisfied, that the Lord your God may bless you in all the work of your hand which you do. At the end of every seven years you shall make a release, and this is the manner of the release. Every creditor that lends aught unto his neighbor shall release it. He shall not exact it of his neighbor or of his brother, because it is called the Lord's release. Of a foreigner you may exact it again, but that which is yours with your brother your hand shall release, save when there shall be no poor among you, for the Lord shall greatly bless you in the land which the Lord your God gives you for an inheritance to possess it. Only if you carefully hearken unto the voice of the Lord your God to observe to do all these commandments which I command you this day. For the Lord your God blesses you, as he promised you, and you shall lend unto many nations, but you shall not borrow, and you shall reign over many nations, but they shall not reign over you. If there be among you a poor man of one of your brethren, within any of your gates in your land, which the Lord your God gives you, you shall not harden your heart, nor shut your hand from your poor brother. 
but you shall open your hand wide unto him, and shall surely lend him sufficient for his need, and that which he wants. Beware that there be not a thought in your wicked heart, saying, The seventh year, the year of release, is at hand, and your eye be evil against your poor brother, and you give him naught, and he cry unto the Lord against you, and it be sin unto you. You shall surely give him, and your heart shall not be grieved when you give unto him, because that for this thing the Lord your God shall bless you in all your works, and in all that you put your hand unto. For the poor shall never cease out of the land. Therefore I command you, saying, You shall open your hand wide unto your brother, to your poor, and to your needy in your land. And if your brother, an Hebrew man, or an Hebrew woman, be sold unto you, and serve you six years, then in the seventh year you shall let him go free from you. And when you send him out free from you, you shall not let him go away empty. You shall furnish him liberally out of your flock, and out of your floor, and out of your winepress, of that wherewith the Lord your God has blessed you, shall you give unto him. And you shall remember that you were a bondman in the land of Egypt, and the Lord your God redeemed you. Therefore I command you this thing today. And it shall be, if he say unto you, I will not go away from you, because he loves you, and your house, because he is well with you, then you shall take an awl, and thrust it through his ear unto the door, and he shall be your servant for ever, and also unto your maidservant you shall do likewise. It shall not seem hard unto you when you send him away free from you, for he has been worth a double hired servant to you in serving you six years, and the Lord your God shall bless you in all that you do. All the firstling males that come of your herd and of your flock you shall sanctify unto the Lord your God. You shall do no work with the firstling of your bullock, nor shear the firstling of your sheep. You shall eat it before the Lord your God, year by year in the place which the Lord shall choose, you and your household. And if there be any blemish therein, as if it be lame or blind, or have any ill blemish, you shall not sacrifice it unto the Lord your God. You shall eat it within your gates, the unclean and the clean person shall eat it alike, as the roebuck and as the heart. Only you shall not eat the blood thereof, you shall pour it upon the ground as water.